Tonight, new information on a teacher accused of giving kids special gummies at school. We're talking about the Deer Creek District. We've now gotten our hands on the police report filed against former Grove Valley Elementary School teacher Amanda Bristow. And while a lot of it is blacked out, we're still getting details about what allegedly happened here. News Force Hunter Release is back on the story tonight. Hunter, what have you found out new? Kevin and Heather, the details inside this report are few, but we know a family noticed something different about their child's sleep pattern going all the way back to last year. In the report made to Oklahoma City Police, it says someone left a note to give a student their medication. The report says that person felt uncomfortable giving medication, later telling school officials. Administration looked into the situation and found written authorization from five different parents to give something like a vitamin of some sort to kids. Written approval that, according to the report, is against the school's board of directors, even with written authorization. We spoke to one parent in Amanda Bristow's class on Tuesday and asked about the medication given to her son. I just quizzed my son about it. I said, did she ever give you any medicine? He said that she used to give him special gummies and then they would take a nap. The Oklahoma State Department of Education told News 4 no notification was received from Deer Creek on the incident, nor what was in the gummies. A complaint was filed on September 17th, making OSDE aware of the situation. We also asked if OSDE keeps any record of written authorization from parents about medication. OSDE said they do not hold nor keep any local records of that. However, the Department of Education told us districts are asked if they have specific procedures to be followed in regard to administration of medicines during their accreditation process that happens in the spring. We reached out to Deer Creek School District multiple times on Thursday by email, phone, and going to the office to ask why a report was never made to OSDE. We did not get a response. We also tried to get a hold of the former teacher herself. Our text didn't go through, and she put my call to voicemail. I reached out to OSDE again to ask about the protocol for a school reporting an incident and get a copy of the complaint they received on September 17th. They told me they are working on it and it will take some time.